um, good, good afternoon, um, everyone. I'd like to invite you to the virtual launch of Five, Find Your Voice, uh, which is South NYMCA's exciting uh, new youth project. The YMCA is here for young people and here for communities. And we have been serving the community of South End for over 100 years. Over those many, many years, um, what young people have wanted from the YMCA has changed. And we've always sought to be responsive, whether that was setting up a school, whether that was providing housing, or whether it was providing contemporary youth work. And young people have told us uh, that they want a platform uh, where they can find out about what's on offer in South End, and they want to run a PR agency where they can share with peers the many exciting and useful things that are happening, which are not always widely known. And of course, they want to run face-to-face -face projects in youth clubs, safe places where young people can meet and have fun and develop. And the FIVE project will offer all of these things. And we are very grateful to the National Lottery Community Fund that they have worked with us and with young people to listen to young people's voices. And they have made a significant investment over the next uh, four years, putting young people at the centre of youth work and youth development in South End. So this is only the beginning. I am always amazed and inspired by what young people come up with. Their ideas always blow me away. And I'm very much looking forward to um, seeing how this project progresses um, and perhaps meeting you online in the future, in a year's time, in two years time, where we begin to um, track the progress. So thank you very much for being here this afternoon. And it's now my pleasure to hand you over to Christina, um, who is uh, chairing this afternoon's launch. That's great. Thank you, Sairi. Um, yeah, welcome to the Find Your Voice virtual platform launch. Um, it's been a really exciting time for us. We've been working hard uh, listening to what young people have said and trying to build this digital platform. So today we are actually going live with the platform across Southend. Um, I would also like to thank everyone involved so far um, and I'm excited for the future. So in this virtual launch, What's going to happen is we're going to introduce you, uh, well, we're going to look at the previous Find Your Voice project, the successes of it, and how this project is evolving moving forward. And then I'm going to hand over to our brand new youth and community manager, Timothy, who's going to say a few words about the project. Uh, then I will do the great uh, un reveal of the new platform. I'll go through page by page to show you what uh, is going to be on there and uh, how young people can use it. There'll be time for some questions and answers and then we will talk about how young people, schools, businesses, church groups, and local community groups can get involved and, uh, and we will round it all up nicely at the end. So um, I hope you're all as excited as I am and uh, let's look at the Find Your Voice project. If anyone's got any questions at any point they can put them in the Q&A um, at the top, just type them in and we'll, we'll look at the questions later. If anyone wants to leave some chat messages, you can use the chat function to us too. So I'm going to share my screen and open the presentation. Bear with me one minute, please. Okay, no thing about technology. Okay. And I need to swap the window. Has anyone seen the window change yet? Anyone? You can see the PowerPoint. Ready oh, to you go. can? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. You just need to put it on view, you know, full view. So we just That's see it slide by slide. That's all right. Thank you. So think about technology, it constantly evolves. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> so here is your Find Your Voice, um, the Find Your Voice digital network launch. And again, thank you so much to the National Lottery Community Fund for making this happen. So the, the Our Voice, Our Passions, Our Future was a pilot project that was run and funded by the National Lottery for 18 months. That was the pilot project before this new version. And that pilot project did some amazing work across South End. Um, not it, it was it was happening for a very challenging period right through the pandemic trying to reach young people is incredibly challenging at the time but the successes were amazing so they there was over 20 awareness raising campaigns and projects addressing the issues at the time including COVID-19 discrimination and mental health facilitated and positive participated 56 strategic meetings across the new city and did training for over 150 professionals, um, including the, the Essex Police, the South End Council and also the Royal Society of Arts. And not only that, but also engaged 406 young people in in-depth um, sessions uh, to help them uh, lead on youth-led projects and this there's incredible outcomes for this there was a, a public health conversation around COVID-19 and and face coverings which reached over 3.5 million people through the Find Your Voice gallery and also there was a World Mental Health Day conference uh, delivered uh, and uh, involving around the huge hangout which has become quite a significant event which happens each year now to address young people's mental health across South End. And so here are some of just uh, some of the images uh, the, of the main events that happened. Uh, the Find Your Voice project also it had a national imprint um, it featured on ITV and also Sky News and the, le um, the late Sir David Amos uh, raised the project and the work that the project had done regarding disability and inclusion in the Houses of Parliament. So, I mean, well done to everybody who was involved and, uh, and because of that great work, here is the, the new project. So, what's next? Well, we managed to get it funded to 2027 and this time, not only is it going to be um, a uh, find your voice project as before but it's going to involve a network vision so there's a whole new digital element included in this and PR agency so I'm going to uh, hand over to Timothy our new youth and community manager who is going to say a few words about this right, stop sharing. okay and uh, Timothy, do you want to have a few words? Unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am the new youth and community manager for South End YMCA. So part of my responsibility is to oversee the five project. Um, we are planning to do um, some youth clubs in part of this project for young people to be involved and um, to hear more of their voices, what we want to do. There's a lot of network meeting. Um, that we're going to be joining up to deliver some of these youth clubs to the centre. And we also are planning to do um, a network meeting with all the youth services in South End, so then that we can actually share all this information to all the young people, so then the young people know what is available to them and what is the opportunities are for them as well. So we are planning a lot um, and we're hoping to start the network meeting in January. Um, there is a lot of scope for, for young people to have their voice in our service. Also for South End, um, we are hoping to grow bigger in this and it will take a few time, but we, we will deliver it. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting stuff, isn't it, Timothy? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So one of the main differences with this new evolution of the project is that it's a network initiative. So not only are we going to be conducting all of these uh, projects 
uh, with young people leading the way, but we also want to network with as many different community partners as possible so that every young person in South End knows exactly what is going on in South End for them, what they can join in and where the support is. And um, yeah, Timothy and his new team are going to be helping the young people lead the way. So yeah, exciting times. Um, right. So um, on that note, then uh, I shall do a um, reveal the website. <laughs> um, uh, I do ask just uh, one one request is while I'm sharing the website, if you could uh, watch me show you the tour rather than clicking around the website yourself. Um, but feel free after I finish to explore, please explore, look at every page, uh, get in touch with us if you've got any comments or improvements or anything like that. Um, but yeah, for this, just for the tour, if you could watch me. So I'm going to share my screen now again and um, we go to this window um, okay right can anyone see everyone see my screen yes yeah you can see the website yeah Excellent. So, so this is the new Find Your Voice digital platform. Now, we uh, we've done a lot of work pulling this together, and this is the skeleton of the website. So, what I mean by that is that we've built the framework, we've built the pages, we've got all of the tools in there, but it's not going to be led by us. It's going to be led by you, young people through the new PR agency. So the articles you see in here now are not going to be the final ones. The, the ones that will become uh, live will be ones written by young people for young people. Um, so please just bear that in mind when I, I'm showing you around is that it's only going to get bigger and it's only going to get better. Um, so this is the homepage. Now, the Find Your Voice project has has a curriculum and it focuses on five central themes. These themes are passion. So we really want to explore what ignites the, the inner fire of young people uh, in their hobbies, their desires, their interests. We want to then help them develop their voice, uh, speak up, help influence decision makers in the city and help shape South End's future. We want them to have the skills to be able to turn actions into reality and make a difference for young people in South End. Um, now, young people need the skills to be able to do this. So we want this platform to, to show them where they can learn new skills, how they can improve their confidence, how they can improve their employability and their CVs and really build them towards independence and ready for adulthood. And we'll, the theme is a major way is well-being. We want them to prioritise their physical and mental health for the future. So, so this the whole platform is built around those five central themes, um, which I will explore um, in a in a second. Um, now, when a young person goes on here to be able to access the themes, they need to log in and sign up. So when you first visit the site, you'll get a light box that pops up and it asks you to pop their details in. Now, we've spoken with data protection um, experts on this. Uh, we've really looked at online ch children's safety. So the, the platform is built for 13 years upwards and when they sign up they they self-declare that they're over 13. Uh, they will not be able to engage with another person on here so their data is completely protected and they're anonymized. Um, if anyone's got any quick questions about uh, online safety please pop them in the Q&A's and I'll be happy to answer them after. So when a young person goes onto the, the platform they click on themes and they will be taken to the member zone, which is gated, and they will get these tiles here. So if a young person wants to explore one of the particular areas, they'll go on to um, one of they go on to one of the themes and each theme is split into three different areas. 
The first area is finding inspiration. So what have other young people done to, to find their passions, to find their hobbies? What have other young people in other YMCA or other charities done to, to inspire themselves and drive that passion inside them? The next section is where can they learn about new hobbies, new ideas? How can they uh, get some inspiration and how to's? And then the, the third area is specifically for South End. So let me give you an example. So if I click on find inspiration, you'll go in here and it will tell you about all of the activities that the previous Find Your Voice project did and the and the activities that, you, that the young people wanted to do. So there was a book book club for National Book Lovers Day, um, South End Pride did a musical, uh, there was poems about domestic violence, um, there was YMCA Norfolk here as well. Uh, one of their young people decided to get into kickboxing. Uh, we've got patchworking. Um, so it's really about, you know, trying to get ideas about what can I do uh, to make myself feel ignited inside. Um, the second, <clears throat> sorry, there's got a bit of a lag. The second uh, area is, sorry. Um, it's frozen for a second. Can everyone still hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's gone. It just froze there for a minute. Right. Let me just refresh it. It's a good sign, isn't it? Okay, so while this is doing its thing, Um, sorry about this. My laptop, I think, has just decided to do an update. Good timing. Um, so, yeah, so the second area, um, as I said before, uh, is about learning uh, how to guides. Let me see if I can bring my computer back to action by selecting a different theme. We'll go on to action. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, well, maybe we'll just um, come back to that shortly. So, aha, here we go. We're back to we're back back with it. So we'll go into the learn section. Oh, here we go. Here's the action section. Sorry, this is my internet. Right. Um, OK, so. Right. Yes, we're back to passion. So this is in the learning section. So these are articles. So how to take really good photography on your phone, um, how to do gardening without having your own garden, how to do uh, knitting if you were interested in knitting, learning how to use Photoshop and baking a cake. Now, these are articles that I've added into there. But we're, when we've got the well, PR agency is live now. So now articles are going to be written by young people for young people. And every theme is split out in into those three sections, inspiration, learning and what's in your area. Uh, the what's in your area one is particularly important because if we go to um, if we go to say back to the passion. Oh, we'll go to action. And in my area, it will bring up how activities that they can do in their own area. So this is about contacting your own MP and it will have details there for South End East and South End West. Um, other things will be certain clubs. If you run a, a youth club of your own, you'll be able to put that in there. If you run, um, if there was like an art club for young people, uh, that one could be in the passion section. Uh, for example. Now, uh, the main area that I am really excited about is this in my area. It's an interactive map. And what we're hoping for is to actually profile the whole city of South End. So young people will be able to go on here and then they'll be able to see all of the uh, all of the activities that are happening right near their houses. So if I was a young person living in Westcliff, I'd be able to zoom in um, to Westcliff, uh, go over and see, you know, oh, the church at the top of my road is running a club on a Monday night. And, 
And this is going to be really good because often young people simply don't know what's going on around them and where they can go to feel safe, but also have lots of fun. Um, so if you are from a church or a business or a school that runs anything that children can get involved in, then uh, just let us know because we can add in a little pin on this map and then uh, young people will be able to see uh, and contact you. The, uh, so if we go over to events next. I'll go to the PR agency at the end. So what we try to do with the events is really let people know what is going on around them for one of um, uh, an events that they'll be able to join. So I've put some links here for Visit South End, all events, South End Theatres, Eventbrite and Visit Essex. And as again, this will grow bigger as and when more young people come on board and, and share events. But at the moment we've got our internal YMCA ones in there. So we've got our music youth club, we've got a mental health champions group. Um, and this is done through Book When, so people will be able to go on here, uh, click on the event and join and take part. Um, we are intending on doing a virtual youth club where videos will be put on here, um, but this is uh, not live just yet, but it, it will be. Uh, so this is going to be a really exciting feature. Um, and also the area that we will be developing with young people, but also partners, is the academy where we want young people to upgrade themselves. So <laughs> there's articles on employability, CV writing, uh, how to improve jobs, job prospects, your learning, um, training opportunities that might be available around your area, uh, qualifications and online courses. So if we click on the online courses section, if I was a young person now, um, we've got the, uh, it's taking me to training, let me just go back, sorry, and the online Courses. Let me have a look. All right, it's taking me to the training. So, um, yeah, so this will be populated with uh, lots of uh, opportunities for young people. And the PR agency is really exciting. And this is where the magic's going to happen because uh, we've got started a PR uh, agency, which, if young people get involved with, they will be able to. Uh, like I said, really make a difference to advertising uh, what activities are happening for young people in the area, which will help their futures. Um, by volunteering with this project, it will help them uh, improve their uh, content and creativity, their skill building, um, and they can take a flexible approach around other school and education commitments. Um, in Within the uh, PR agency, we actually have got uh, a form that people they can click here and they can actually submit any form of content that they want straight away from here so if anyone right now wanted to submit some content they can go onto the submissions page they pop in their name and email and then they'll be able to upload any event any course qualification uh, opportunity uh, any learning article, any piece of information that they think another young person would want to hear about. They just pop it in here, they upload their document and it's, it, it emails over to one of our staff at YMCA. And this is the platform. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to just stop sharing. I want to just do a poll because I'm very interested. Um, I'm all about collecting feedback. I really want to hear what people's uh, views are on the platform. So uh, I'm going to release um, just a poll here. If you could put in some words into the poll of uh, how you would describe it, just one word answers, please. Um, type in, you can type in multiple responses. I do encourage that if you can. Um, the more words we have, the better in here. So, can everyone see that? The poll. Oh, there we go. So, we've got engaging. Excellent. You fled. Perfect. That's what we're going for. Oh, outstanding. Thank you. A lot of work has gone into this. <laughs> Very work. Uh, interesting, inspiring. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, what about the look? Does anyone has anyone got any words that they would uh, describe the look of it? 
creative. Comprehensive, that's very interesting. That's good because one of the really important features about this is that it has to be able to be designed, like the language has got to be for young people. Um, you know, they need to be able to uh, relate to it, understand it. And it's not just, um, you know, we have to, we've also got to consider uh, disabilities as well. Um, so we've tried to keep the, um, the visuals as simple as we can for young people who might be experiencing any uh, visual difficulties. Um, bright, excellent. Great. Wow. Thank you for that. I'll keep that poll live. Um, so if anyone wants to keep on adding words, um, that would be fantastic. And I just want to launch another poll here as well. Um, so everyone who's here, uh, what topics would you like to see on here? Like what topics do you think are important for young people to read about or learn about or what articles or what fun things could young people um, like get in, involved with on this platform. So if anyone's got any ideas, please uh, pop them into that, <clears throat> that poll as well, because um, the success of this project is really dependent on, you know, getting as much ideas and content as possible. So alongside this digital platform, Timothy and his youth team are going to be running the face to face element, which is the bulk of this Find Your Voice project. So this digital platform is going to be uh, integral to that, but it's going to be supporting the face to face element of the project and the face to face element of the project. We will be doing events um, about this um, as and when they happen. So uh, so we've got staying safe, uh, mental health very important, arts and crafts, youth voice. Great, right. So it is, if anyone, so feel free to keep on adding topics in there. This, uh, we will be taking these and we will be feeding it into the future development. So, um, oh yes. So if anyone's got any questions, please uh, put them in the uh, q and I've had a couple of apologies, um, so I'm going to read out the questions. Uh, one of uh, a, pa <coughs> a parent said, is my child going to be safe on this digital platform? Our answer is yes, it's not a social media platform. Young people won't be able to independently engage with each other. It's a one way flow of traffic. Um, we uh, if you are um, your your child will be signing themselves up. But if you ever have any concerns or the child wants to be removed at a point, please just let us know. Uh, be, we'll, we'll deal with it um, straight away. Um, but we can assure you we've had data protection officers look at this. And, um, you know, being a, a youth charity, child online safety is uh, absolutely paramount to us and we take it seriously. Uh, another question that came in is, um, how can I add in my own church youth activities? Uh, well, if you want to do that, you can email us, uh, find fyv at southfairyvca.org.uk, or you can use a submission form on the platform and just directly enter in the activity. Uh, we will get an email as soon as you do that, and we will be able to upload it Um Alternatively, you can contact us through social media channels or just pick up the phone and give us a ring. Um, they're, the, uh, they're the questions that I've had forward. Nougar, have we had any anyone's in the chat? Oh, Nougar, are no. you there? No, nothing. No, no questions. OK, well, if anyone does have any questions, just pop them in the uh, the chat function or the Q&A and we'll get to you. So I'm going to hand you over now to Nougar, who has been uh, my, uh, running this project, uh, this digital project with me. And uh, uh, Nougar is going to explain how young people can get involved with current volunteering opportunities, uh, what those opportunities are. Do you want to go ahead, Nougar? Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, should I share my screen just to show the website? Yeah, go yeah. for it. Uh, so 
as discussed, uh, this platform is designed for young people and we want young people to lead and design this platform. So how can young people lead and design the platform is by being content creators. So we we have these opportunities for young people to be content creators with us for Find Your Voice project. So why, why they need to volunteer with us is by being content creators, they will be building up the confidence and also helping them to be creative. So when I say content creators, they can write blogs, uh, vlog, they can uh, record a vlog or design a post for social uh, social media, any anything that is related to this project that is we have five themes that, that is passion, uh, action, voice, skills and well-being. So anything related related to that uh, five themes, it can be those contents and young people who volunteer with us will not only help themselves to develop, but also be making a difference in the society. Uh, so with their content, they can help other young people to develop confidence and help them to learn and develop themselves by different contents being added. So uh, along with making a difference, they'll be building the skills, uh, which is important for them because everyone has dreams. I have dreams. You guys might you guys have a dreams. Young people have dreams. Maybe the dream might be to own their own business or to contribute in some service area. So these this this experience by being a content creator will help them to build the experience in uh, PR, content creation and digital communication, which is which will be important for young people. And in this volunteering opportunities, uh, we offer the flexibility as well as we understand young people have commitments, commitments like study commitments and other commitments. So we offer a flexible volunteering opportunities for young people to be part of this project and how young people can be a volunteer is just send a CV to the Find a Voice network and tell us about yourself, your interest and why you are excited to be part of the Find a Voice uh, project. And from there, we can start to create impact uh, develop your confidence as well as help to develop other young people's confidence, train them, develop them. And yes, this and just wanted to see it is mentioned in the website as well. Your voice, young people's voice has the power to shape perception and drive action. So if you are interested or if your friend, family or anyone you know is interested in this project, we request you to please apply for our volunteering opportunities and we have uh, some mission, uh, some mission as well where young people can submit their content. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Nuga. Thank you. Oh, we've got a question. Oh, sorry. Want you want to say a word? Um, Nuga and Christina, um, I understand that where young people have um, volunteered with YMCA in the past, they've been able to build their CV. The YMCA has paid for training for them. They've got qualifications um, or, or sort of undertaken away days where they've learned new skills. And my understanding is that that has helped them when they then go for interviews with prospective employers or they've been able to put that on um, applications to university. So do you still see that sort of developmental approach as being um, very central. So, you know, to the sort of young content creator role. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, there, it's not just content creation. This uh, this project is um, it, it's based, there's going to be a lot of campaigns that are youth led. So within the campaigns, if young people have got ideas, they'll be able to apply for some funding. They'll be able to get training. They'll be able to work with experienced people uh, to be able to like show and lead them the way, which is all vital experience. I'm actually going to hand over to Timothy now because um, to, um, uh, one of the ways young people can get involved um, is being a youth commissioner. And that is definitely an area, uh, as, as Sari was saying, um, which will help uh, develop their future and train for them. So, uh, Timothy, would you like to say a little bit about that? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got post up at this moment in time about youth commissioners. And the post is about three hours a week. Um, and we're looking for young people aged 16 to 19, but that for over 14 year olds can actually apply for this role. So this is about, you know, chairing meetings for youth, youth forums. Um, it's also the consultancy and engagement of young people who are actually their age group as well. Um, I also create on online content, so it could be videos, it could be um, posts as well, to get more young people involved in our service and also beyond what we can do, um, to come to our youth clubs as well, to just do a bit of project delivery on five. Um, so yes, there's a lot and it's the post is until the 30th of November. So yes, it's still up there. Excellent. And Timothy, just to say, this is a paid role, isn't it? So it's a paid yes. role uh, for young people, you know, so for some young people that want to apply, um, it could be their first job. And yeah. my understanding is that on the previous pilot for five, we had around six young commissioners and um, those young people had lots of exciting opportunities. I think they um, spoke on ITV News, on BBC. You know, they were called in to comment on young people's issues. Um, they are involved with a... Uh, um, all parliamentary group for youth affairs at the House of Commons and then they were able to do quieter things advocating for their uh, peers locally because some some young people still like to make a difference but more in the background and I do recall one young person who um, went on to study abroad actually they said that when they first started as a young commissioner, they couldn't speak publicly. They felt they couldn't even walk into a room like that. And it, and and the project helped them to develop and grow. So do you imagine that's how it's going to be this time? Yes, it will be. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent. It's great to be creating jobs for young people because I'm not sure there are lots of jobs for young people around. So... Yeah, fantastic. So if you know a young person who um, is between ideally 16 to 19, but can be out, out over 14, if you know a young person that could really benefit from this, please just get in touch with us before the end of November and uh, and uh, let's get their CVs in. Uh, right. So what I'm going to do is hand over to um, Andy, who is the new youth worker at South, uh, the Find Your Voice Projects through South and YMCA. But Andy's got a unique perspective because Andy was involved in the previous um, Find Your Voice project. Uh, so, Andy, would you like to, to spend just a minute or two just telling us about yourself, well, about youth empowerment and, and how the projects, the benefits that you saw of the projects before? Sure, thank you, Christina, and hello, everyone. It's been a whirlwind of, a, of the last couple of years since leaving school, and I'm forever grateful for what SAP and YMCA have offered me as a young person. Officially, by law, I, I come under as a young adult for another three years. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm still young at heart, and not just that, I'm not, get, I'm not getting any grey hairs. So it's not all bad. <laughs> Honestly, we've got an opportunity here to really give so much power to the people of our young new city. It's really quite something. And the trust that I've been given from Syrie, Timothy, and everyone else here at South and, at South and YMCA is phenomenal. However, as part of my job, I get to give power to young people to make sure their voices are heard and that they can make the life changing decisions that could hopefully positively impact their lives going forward and that is fantastic to see we're in a new world now we're in a new era covid gone we're now a city now let's put our own spin on this city and hopefully by giving the opportunities that I didn't have 10 years ago, 
that are now available to the young people growing up in our glorious city by the seaside. Hopefully, our young people will become even more inspired to go on and pursue new opportunities elsewhere. Honestly, you you know you know when it hits you know for me I'm a, I'm a South End boy I'm born and raised in this city I love this city as much as the next person does and ultimately yes there is a lot of history that we are carrying but ultimately we are also carrying towards the future and hopefully with the young people that come forward we will be in a better position going forward so there is so much to be really looking forward to we've obviously need to make sure we find the right people but ultimately it's it's like a bus anyone can jump on you know anyone can come for the ride let's make it a fun one let's you know there are going to be tough days ahead but more importantly they will only amount to five percent of all of, of all of the time the other 95 percent are going to be fantastic days where we create and more importantly, we inspire for the next generation that comes along and hopefully takes over from us in due course. So thank you for having me. Fantastic. Thank you. I like that. Get on the Find Your Voice bus. Come along. Buy, get your ticket and, and jump on board. So um, what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is that we held an art competition and we had some submissions and i am delighted to say who the winners are so let me just share my screen again um there we go bear with me oh uh, sorry to interrupt that sorry had a question you had your hand oh. raised. Oh yes, it was only it was only about getting on the bus actually. So we've talked about five um, helping with um, training, and I know that five can possibly help young people with their bus tickets. Sometimes even travel costs coming to coming to events and. If young people have got an idea for a project, five have got a small amount of money to make that project happen as well. And five is going to have a fundraiser. So um, the fundraiser can also help to develop young people's ideas. So, um, you know, where um, Andy has talked about sort of giving power to young people and empowering young people, getting them on the bus, you know, in our wonderful uh, city by the sea there are lots of resources that we can invest in young people to make it happen as well yep yep um yeah we were doing the fix it fund uh which is a small uh pot of money to to give out to young people to help develop their ideas so that will be coming next year so watch this space uh so um yeah we launched a, a art competition at the uh, in mid-october and the art competition uh, promotion reached over 2,500 people across South End. And we are delighted, uh, the entrants were age range 13 to 25. Uh, we are delighted to announce the winners. Uh, so uh, uh, third place was uh, Joanna Newman, who decided to focus on the category of well-being. And that was her her uh, perspective of Remembrance Day and in well-being is uh, using Remembrance Day to uh, think about past relatives um, and, and celebrate their lives. In second place was Cassandra Butler, uh, who did a lovely painting to uh, in the category of voice. Um, and about how uh, using your voice and projecting your voice forward can can help young people. And uh, Ella Bromfield was the first place winner. Um, and the first place winner was uh, on Passion. And uh, she's done this beautiful sketch um, and she's drawing herself through the, the, uh, the eyes of uh, drawing herself through the eyes of herself. And uh, I think that is a fantastic uh, drawing 
uh, absolutely fantastic. So congratulations. Uh, we've got some Amazon vouchers, so I will be contacting the winner. And these artworks will be showcased on the Find Your Voice platform. Um, and the runners up. Uh, of the art competition will be getting certificates so uh, if you submitted a piece of artwork uh, watch out for your emails and uh, we will be in contact with you soon uh, excellent so well done everybody in the art competition i'm just going to stop um, presenting and we also have um and uh, one other thing i wanted to mention is the oh Bear with me, sorry. We've also got a text raffle happening. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen again. Here we go. So the text raffle. Here we go. Um, so, so South and YMCA is a charity. Uh, we are independent, so we're not funded centrally. Uh, with South Bay YMCA raises its own funds, uh, but absolutely vital services for young people across the city. Supported accommodation, youth work, mentoring and advice, community school, children's home, and many, many more services. Too many to mention here. But South Bay YMCA has been in existence for over 100 years. It's a long-standing charity, but it is a charity and uh, is uh, is only in uh, in existence because of donations from uh, the lovely funders and donors uh, in the city. So uh, we are running a tech raffle. All of the profits are going towards these vital services so uh, the text raffle actually closes at midnight tonight so you can enter for free uh, you just text south end youth all one word to 70215 uh, you can choose to just have a free entry the winning prize is a 50 pound amazon voucher so just before christmas um, you can also choose to donate at the same time um, so please uh, text away share this to your friends and family we also have a gaming um, a, a gaming campaign. So if you know any young streamers, young gamers, we really want to reach out and get some of these. Where are young people playing computer games? Because they all seem to be a lot more on their devices. Um, so there's a there's a gaming competition and we really want to get young people involved. So we've got the Stream for South End YMCA November campaign. So if you know a young person who's interested, please just get them to, to go onto the social media uh, or, or get in contact with us and we can tell you more. Um, so how how can you get involved? There's so many ways as businesses, schools, churches, youth groups get involved. If you're a business and you want to uh, contribute to this platform, you can sponsor the platform, you can have your logo on there, you can get your staff involved in, in activities. Mo many of your staff are going to have children. So, you know, you can use this financial voice platform as a brilliant way for corporate social responsibility and employee engagement. If you're a church, there's there's so many ways that you can get involved with this project uh, through working in partnership. The youth team are really eager to work alongside you. Churches, we can work so well with your pupils and your young uh, schools. We, you can we can work really well with you and your young people. There's so many benefits that your students and pupils can get out of working in partnership with this project. Um, so there's a if you go onto the Find Your Voice uh, website, you'll find downloadable packs for for schools and businesses and you can see exactly how you can get involved and please get in touch and oh that's oh there we go a bit too eager there um so really we're wrapping up now um sorry would you like to say any final words oh yeah well thank you very much everyone for joining us this afternoon and um, as Christina said, you know, um, South and YMCA has been uh, creating new services for over 100 years. And uh, this is a new milestone for us, building on all the hard work of young people, uh, building on our volunteers, building on our staff talent to create something new and needed for um, the town. So. I'm very much looking forward to what comes of it. 
And obviously, thank you, Christina, for being such a fantastic um, host this afternoon. And for Nugar, you know, who has done a lot of work uh, building the platform and uh, Nugar works for University of Hertfordshire. So, you know, we've got some very talented people behind it. And of course, uh, Timothy and Andy have just joined our uh, youth team. Um, so we're all raring to go. So upwards and onwards. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank and you the so National much Lottery, attending. National Lottery oh. Community Fund, of course, final, uh, final thanks there yeah. for believing in us. Just just before we end this meeting, there is a question in the Q&A box. All right, OK. Uh, what's the question, Nuga? I guess, oh, we know this, you have spoken. I guess we have discussed about that then. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Has anyone else got any more questions before we, we wrap up and that's, I switch it off? <laughs> No. OK. All right. Well, thank you. So please go on the site. Go to f your fyv southendorguk right now. Go on the site, sign up, explore, tell us what's good, tell us what's not good, <laughs> tell us any thoughts you have. Um, and yeah, it's been a delight to do this meeting. So thank you very much, everyone. OK, bye bye. Bye.